Yeah, let it rain. Let it rain couscous. So when I was developing this recipe for couscous, a lot of my colleagues, they made fun of me because it's a little involved. Oh yeah, are you getting a time lapse of like everybody moving uh, I th around I think over the course of a Sue, Sue is, And it's not just pouring water over it and letting it do its thing. You gotta steam it, you gotta fluff it, you gotta steam it again, you gotta fluff it again. But I'm telling you, it's all worth it. It even has a bit of brown butter. First things first, we're gonna transfer three cups of couscous on our rimmed baking sheet. And then we're gonna crush two garlic cloves. What we're doing here is kind of making a really flavorful broth. Two star anise pods, half teaspoon whole cumin seeds, half teaspoon whole coriander seeds, one cinnamon stick, and two teaspoons kosher salt. All that, and two cups chicken stock. Preferably homemade, but if you don't get it, do what you gotta do. We're gonna bring this to a simmer. And we really, we don't want it to reduce or anything, we just want the salt to dissolve. Once the salt dissolves, we'll remove the stock from the heat and then let it cool. All right, we have our salt dissolved. All right, so we're gonna let this cool to room temperature. We're gonna strain it over our couscous. Now we're gonna let this sit. So you see a little bit of the excess liquid over here? Don't worry, give this couscous about 10 to 15 minutes and absorb all that liquid. I like to use a steamer basket, but you could use a colander. You're gonna insert the steamer basket, and then because it has some coarse medium holds here, the couscous is gonna fall, so I like to line it with some cheesecloth or a tea towel, and this is gonna prevent the couscous from falling. So you see, all this liquid from the couscous has absorbed, and what you're gonna do is just rub the couscous between your palms and rake it. This is to prevent any clumping. I just also love raking and rubbing couscous between the palms of my hands. There's something so beautiful, old world about it. This is the way they do it in North Africa. Traditionally, you steam it three times. In this recipe, I actually shortened it where we only steam it two times, <laughs> which I think a lot of my colleagues still think is ridiculous. Okay, we're gonna transfer the, this steamer basket. I'm gonna get our steam on. Okay. And then we're gonna level out the couscous so that it all steams equally. This honestly is one of my favorite things to do. <laughs> this is the first of two times the couscous is gonna be steamed. And we're gonna give it a little bit of a stir over here just so we make sure all the couscous is properly steaming. Break it up but also smooth it out with a slotted spoon. I'm gonna take it over. I'll just lift this whole big thing. Transfer it to a clean rimmed baking sheet. And then we're gonna pour a quarter cup of cold water. And you're gonna break that couscous up again. You see all this, like, I love this. While this couscous is steaming, we're gonna make some brown butter. We're gonna take six tablespoons and we're gonna melt it down until it gets nice brown and frothy. It'll talk, take probably around three to five minutes. All right, so we got our milk solids over here that are nice and caramelized and brown. We have our butter that's nice and frothy. We're gonna remove this from the heat. I just do that, it's like, eh. See how the first time around, when you were steaming, the couscous got really clumpy, but this, pretty much no clumps. We're gonna transfer the couscous back on this rimmed baking sheet. It's so fluffy, I know, it's so cool. It's, it's I swear, it's, it's not magic, but it's pretty much, almost magic. It needs a little bit more salt, so just taste and adjust. Add the brown butter. So we're just gonna keep tossing this couscous so that all of it gets coated in the brown butter. Smooth out the couscous using a slotted spoon. And we'll give it a little bit of a taste. It's so good. You can taste the brown butter but really the star is the couscous. It goes all over your mouth. It's, I, I give this like tingly sensation just because it's so perfect. It's, you're gonna change people's minds about couscous. I like a bit of dried chili. There you have it. 
couscous, not the instant way, but the way I learned how to make it.